We're at the Everton Stadium after a 2 0 defeat to Eriff Town with the Boots new manager, Darren Manning. Uh, Darren, first of all, welcome to the club. Thank you very much, um, mate. We'll briefly go how about how did the move come, up, come apart and then we'll come on to tonight's game. Yeah, um, so a bit of a whirlwind, really. I've, um, I've known Kevin for a while. We. Um, my old job, we played played Wellington in a friendly, um, so we kept in contact through there, and we've got a couple of good mutual friends in Peter Gill and people like that. Um, so when when it come about, for me, it's a no-brainer. I know Kevin's a really good man, and he's building a very, very good football club here, and it's it's an exciting project that that myself and James we just couldn't say no to. We've um, we've done the journey once, in effect, at Holbridge, and um, we've done it one side. Now we're looking to do it the other side of the bridge. I was going to say that you've had success at this level before, mm -hmm. so you know what it's like turning around clubs. Yep. Um, are you confident you can go on a similar type journey that you took Holbridge up? No, 100%. I just said to the players there in the huddle, look me in the eye and trust me, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. They've shown me a few bits tonight, don't get me wrong, it wasn't great, but they've um, they've shown me some individual bits that, that there's a lot to work with. And I said to them, don't, don't get it twisted, there's a lot of work to be done. A lot of work to be done, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And um, it's going to be an exciting journey. One player in. Tell us a little bit about him, and also tell us any other moves coming about. Yeah, so Scarbs is in. Scarbs has has played for us for the last three or four years. He was our uh, our top goal scorer when we when we won the the Essex Senior League, so the equivalent over in Essex. He's uh, he's everything we ask for in a player. He's uh, he's attitude. He set standards. He uh, he's uh, he's a real good good character to have around in in, uh, in in on the pitch and off the pitch. He's uh, he's a real good character. There's lots, mate. The, the little black books already already out and ready to go but but I owe it to the players here to give them a full opportunity because it's uh, I'm one that I like to judge people with my own eyes and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take people's word for it I'm gonna judge them all every single one even the boys not in the squad tonight everyone will get an opportunity and uh, and, and give it two three weeks that's when we'll start seeing the real the real well in town and what we want to do what kind of teams do you put out on the pitch how do you like playing and, and if, are you quite fluid when it comes to systems? Yeah, we, we've normally got two systems. Obviously, I'm not going to say too much because everyone, especially AJ at Fish, will be having a little look because he, uh, he's a good good friend of mine. We um, People people in the senior league, they knew our teams before we played, if that made sense, and, and they knew how we want to play. We have got quite a distinctive style in what we want to do. Um, that can be in a couple of different shapes. We're not we're not rigid with our shapes and how we want to play. And and I said to the boys at half time, sometimes it's irrelevant what I ask of them. They need to just find a way to win. And that's what we want to try and instill that winning mentality that that whatever it takes. And uh, and players that played for me before laugh because I always say we just got to find a way, find a way to win, and uh, and we'll, we'll have success. Um, let's talk about players, managers wanting players to be brave and, mm -hmm. and show effort. Were you happy with those, those yeah. two things? Yeah. No, they. Uh, uh, I think we lacked a little bit of intensity at times, especially with both goals. I felt we could have could have defended better for both goals. I felt we, especially the first one, we didn't react to the second ball quick enough and with enough intensity to get out and press it, allowing him a free shot. Um, yeah, the work rate was good. It's a, it's a t difficult night. The wind was swirling. It was uh, it's a scrappy game. It's hard. It's a hard game. Like Goldie couldn't get into the game at all first half. He, uh, he couldn't get into the game at all. It was a tough, tough game to, to play in, and I, I acknowledge that as a manager. I'm not going to sit here and start screaming and shouting and saying, why are you not doing certain things? It, it'll be naive to do so. It's, um, it was difficult conditions, a very scrappy game, and fair play to Eriff, they, they took their chances when they had them, and, uh, and that was a difference tonight. It was a quite a, an even game. They just took their two chances, and, and, and unfortunately, we didn't. There was a bit of shenanigans going on before kickoff. I mean, I was sitting next to the referee's assessor, and there was talk of... Uh, and their manager come out, they were not happy with the floodlights. Um, what was your take on that? I could see everything from down by the changing room, so I have no idea what they was moaning about. I hadn't been up there, so it's probably a little bit unfair of me to comment because I hadn't been up there doing what the goalkeeper was doing, but goalkeeper's kept a clean sheet tonight, so I'm sure he won't be, he weren't that hindered, was he? So he's, uh, I think it was all a bit of fun and games. Um, I know their centre half pulled out in the warm up, so I don't know if that was playing on their mind at all, um, and they were a bit worried. But um, but no, it, you get that sort of stuff in football, especially these kind of levels. You're not playing at the new camp every week, are you? So you have to just take the rough with a smooth and uh, and pick it up and, and see where it takes you. Um, what do we we plan on one training session a week? And will we? Because you haven't had one yet. Will we be having one this week? Yes. Like yeah. No. We we have to have one. I'm now going to be on Kev's case finding. Uh, we need a venue. We need we need to train. There's there's lots we need to do. Lots of lots of quite simple stuff that'll be very effective. That uh, that me and Quabs, the coach, have noticed tonight. Um, very little little bits that we want to implement uh, as early as possible. And then you'll start to see the team developing in our style over the next few weeks. 
um, like I said to you before, we've got quite a distinctive style in how we want to play and, uh, and, and that will hopefully become evident in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and the next game, what are you looking for? Just effort, desire, enthusiasm and a willingness to learn, a willingness to be coached. One of my big words is be coachable. Uh, and if the players are coachable, then we'll be fine. We'll be completely fine and, and they just need to, to buy into it. And I've just said to me in there, if I, I've got trust in them and uh, I'm a very all or nothing person. If I'm in, I'm all in and I just need the same from them. And if we get the same from them, then we'll, uh, we'll be completely fine. Well, that, that's brilliant. Thanks, Dan. Can you just quickly run through the, the staff, your staff? Yeah, so my, my long term, or long term, he's like my right hand in James James Wakelin. He's, uh, he's been with me throughout the journey. Um, he's coming in. He's, uh, he's my, my right hand man, my go to, uh, the other half of me, really. Um, it'll be a huge part of what we do in the success of it. Um, Quabs Asai has come in. He was our. Um, one of our captains when I was at Grays as an assistant manager. Um, Quabs is there, he knows a lot of this level of football, knows a lot of players, he's uh, extremely good at what he does. He'll also be playing, he'll be a player coach. And, uh, and Brian Madd has come in, he's uh, an assistant coach and he'll do uh, a lot of the work that we don't want to, if I'm being brutally honest. And, uh, and he's just a great character having in around the changing room. Maybe one more um, to the staff that comes in, but, um, but we'll wait and see on that one. Well, Darren, thanks. Uh, welcome to Wellington. We'll look forward Perfect. To the next Thank you very much. My pleasure, mate. My pleasure. Okay, thank you. Top man.